Hello and welcome to Reality News Roundup. Here are the top stories of the day. In a bid to give a leg up to the rural housing targets, the Rural Development Ministry has proposed that local housing banks be incentivized through credit guarantee and stamp duty exemption to provide loans to beneficiaries of rural housing program. These incentives will be over and above the government allocation to achieve the goal for housing for all. The government has set a target to build over 3 crore houses under its rural housing scheme in the next 7 years. Tata Steel has received the final environment clearance for its rupees 1877 crore expansion project to be carried out at Jamshedpur Steelworks in Jharkhand. The clearance which was issued recently has been given to the company subject to strict compliance to specific and general conditions. It has been asked to develop green belt in more than 33% of the area within and around the plant as per the Central Pollution Control Board guidelines. The construction work on the 166 meter long Sudama Setu, a cable stayed hanging pedestrian bridge over Gomti River in Gujarat's Dwarka, is complete. The new bridge will help thousands of devotees visiting the Dwarka Dish Jagat Mandir and Panjnath Pirat more easily. Earlier, the visitors had been using boats to cross the river. Built by Reliance Industries in collaboration with Gujarat government, the bridge will help develop Dwarka as a heritage city. Now some good news about high net worth Indians. A report by Knight Frank Global Wealth 2016, Indians are getting wealthier and the growth in number of billionaires is outpacing even the global average. India has witnessed over four times or 330% jump in the number of billionaires over the last 10 years as against 68% rise noted globally. The trend is expected to continue with the number of Indian billionaires doubling over the next decade while the global number could rise by 44%. Thank you for watching. For latest updates, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and Instagram.